Hi, I'm Ryan with the Talus Tech Team. I'm here to show you how to make a HD reconstruction map on Smart Farm using the Mavic 3M. So first things first, we are going to power on our drone. And one thing to make certain, you have to have a SD card in your drone. So just make sure you have an SD card with space. So once we get that there, power on the drone. Power on the remote. All right, so now that we have the drone and the remote on, uh, we'll be creating an area route. So on the left side, this is the homepage from when you turn on the drone. Uh, you'll see flight route, just select that. And we already have maps here, but in the top right, you'll see the plus sign. Create a plus and then create a route. And since we're gonna be taking photos and gathering information of the area, we'll be doing an area route. And from here, this is where you'll map out your area. So a little bit different than on the Agris drones, instead of having a button to add a boundary point, you'll just be tapping the screen. So I'm going to create, let's say just the hill that we're on. So I'm going to just tap once and you'll create a point. Tap once there, there, and there. Cool, now once everything's done, you see this little check mark right there on your last point that you made? Click that. And now we have to select our series, so Mavic 3 Enterprise, and then specifically the Mavic 3 Multispectral, so the M3M. And since we're also, since this is the Multispectral, I'm also gonna be doing the Multispectral option. So there's the RGB and Multispectral. And then once those presets are done, click OK. Now we have our area route settings. So route altitude, we can lower this to, the closer to the ground you are, the more detailed images you'll get. So let's try going for 150. And then takeoff altitude, I'm gonna set this to 100. Speed, I want pretty much as fast as possible just to make this as quick as possible. In the top left, you can see the estimated duration. So right now it's six minutes and 20 seconds and it'll be taking 191 photos. Cool, and there's a lot more finer details you can do. You can change the gimbal uh, pitch direction to have more of an angle and all sorts of other information such as like L such as the ortho GSD. But for now, since we're keeping it simple and just creating this map, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. And then once you're done, in the top left is a little save icon. You just press that and that is your area route. So once you're there, to begin, there's a plus, or there's a play sign right next to the area route. Just tap that blue play sign. And here are your pre-flight checklist. Everything's good, so we go next. And then upload flight mission. And we press start. So now the drone is done, mission is complete. Everything, all the photos and everything are stored on that SD card I mentioned earlier. So now it's time to bring it into the office and create that 3D map. All right, so we are back in the office. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your SD card from your drone, plug it into your computer. And in your computer, you will see a folder. Let's see here, right here. You'll see a folder DCIM, just like that. And then the folder is going to be, it's gonna be, it's gonna seem like a bunch of numbers and letters. So DGI, it's actually a date. So first four digits, 2025, next two digits is a month. So July, and then next two digits is the second. Um, that's the day. So that'll be that. And this is where all of your photos are stored. So you will go over to DGI Smart Farm Web and once you're there, we already uploaded the photos. As you can tell, it's a new day. Uh, this, and it does take some time. So we uploaded 525 photos. Um, and that took roughly six, five, six hours to create. Um, so then to upload these photos, you just select new, name your field, 
it's like the type farmland orchard multi-spectral or just field scouting and then you can do your test right here test, let's do farmland and then save and upload now and then it'll give you an option to select the folder or the file that you want to upload so now i can just remove this once that's complete you have your photos up and ready to go. Now you want to construct your HD map. So at the very top, you'll see HD map right here. That's a new tab. You'll have to go over there. And then on this page, you'll select the new and those files that you just uploaded. Let's do this one, for example. Uh, you just select it. Next, AT reconstruction, area type, farmland, orchard, multi-spectral. Uh, you can select, for multi-spectral, you can select uh, the indices that you want, if you want just NDVI or if you want the whole spectrum. Um, and then map resolution, which I prefer to do 100% quality, but if you're not looking for accuracy, you can lower the quality. Um, once that's done, it's like OK. And it should pretty much begin constructing that map. So for right now, we can just cancel that. Since I already have the maps, I uploaded the, you can see right here, the first three videos, the HD reconstruction. Uh, there's gonna be farmland, orchard, and multi-spectral. Doesn't necessarily matter which one you do. Uh, either way, it's all gonna show up on the uh, uh, D Igress T50, T40 uh, uh, map itself. And then uh, just to do a quick review, so if I did a farmland one, I can go over to the farmland tab, and you can see my reconstruction right here. So AC reconstruction, and if you want as well, you can plan your field out here. I will just do a quick one, really quick. Since this is not really necessarily the focus of the video, but this is a good example of shells. So we could just do a quick test map here. And then it's the test. Save. Now, once that's done, we have a map. We have our AC reconstruction. Now, all we have to do, another thing to make note, under map authorization, just make sure your account that you use to fly is registered under DJI Smart Farm. So right here, we have our support account, Atalus Drone. And that's just like a quick double check that you wanna do. So now, I'm gonna turn on the CCFD remote. Once you have everything good, set up, uploaded to DJI Smart Farm web, you can go over onto your T50, T40 remote. And to find the field, there's gonna be two options. You can either press begin and you'll have to manually search for your field. Uh, or you can just go over to what well, I made a task. So let's say you make a task on smartphone web. You'll just go to this folder at the top at the home screen, cloud. And then you can see the AC test that I just made. It'll be right there, and all you have to do is download. And then once that's complete, you just go back, go to the home screen, and then that arrow on the left, HD test right there, and it already has your map created right here. So, once you have that going, pretty much you can see the purpose of creating an HD map is because sometimes, as you can kind of clearly see here, the satellite map is not exactly the most up-to-date. It can either be months or years behind. Um, so you will need, if you want to map out, let's say maybe like a new building is created, um, like somewhere near your property and it's the, the satellite isn't mapping it out. Um, and you want to create this HD reconstruction map and have a more up-to-date map you will have to take out your multispectral or anything like that to map out that field and have a more updated version of your map. So you can see right here, this is the difference between what appears to be either months or years ago versus uh, what we just took. So once that is done, you pretty much have your AC map of your field ready and good to go. All right, again, I'm Ryan with the Talos Tech team, and that is how you create a reconstruction map with the Mavic 3 Multispectral.